hello everyone and welcome to my channel so today on my channel i'll be doing a full review of the asa predator 13500 se for 2022 now the predator 13500 is a premium high-end gaming laptop from asa so and then the predator 13500 se was introduced in 2021 last year to replace that predator 13500 so and if you have been following asa or if you have known the predator 13 series you know they always come in red sorry in black and blue accent so but the new predator 13500 se come in completely gray color so which is very very beautiful and they're very very good for those who do not want that aggressive look of a gaming laptop so people who want a powerful laptop but it doesn't come with that conventional color of black that we have in other gaming or we have in a gaming laptop so and not only the color it also comes in 16 inch display instead of the 15.6 inch that we used to see in predator 13 500 and aside that also it's the predator the giant predator logo we used to have at the center with the predator writing is gone so you only have this small predator logo at the top which makes the laptop to look absolutely clean so and again the predator writing we used to see at the bottom bezel here is also gone so you don't have the predator writing instead you have the small predator logo as well so that is some of the few changes you notice between the predator 13500 se and the previous predator 13500 now for the 2022 model which i have here is exactly the same like the last year model except for the internals the 2022 model comes in different configuration you have the core i7 and then the core i9 model and it comes in either 3070 ti or 3080 ti now for the core i9 model it only comes in 3080 ti you don't have the 3070 ti with the core i9 configuration while on the core i7 configuration you can get either a 3070 ti or 3080 ti both with a ddr5 ram now there is no Core i5 and there is no RTS 3060 or any other lower graphic on the Predator 13 500 SE for 2022. So if you are looking for 3060 or 3050 or any other graphic aside 3080 uh, Ti or 3070 Ti, so you have to look for the either Predator 13 300 or other Predator like uh, the Herios and then or you go to the Nitro now for the unit i have here it comes with a 16 inch wqxga to, uh, display with 240 hertz refresh rate it also got an nvidia g-sync which i have not seen for a long time with the 2020 or even 2021 and 2022 laptops so it's good for those who are playing games so and then it comes equipped with a 12 generation intel core i9 12 900 h 14 core processor with rtx 3080 ti it got a 32 gigs of ddr5 ram and then one tb of nvme ssd so you can see the laptop is very very powerful and then good so it also got a very good number of support from left to right you have the charging port and you have the ethernet port and you have the usb a port and you have the usb type c port which also doubles as a thunderbolt 4 port and then your uh, display output and then you have the 3.5 millimeter audio jack and at the front you have nothing and at the right you have a full sd card reader which is good for content creators and then so you don't have to carry adapters around you have a usb a port and a, another usb type c port making it total of two usb type c port and a total of two usb a port and then you have the full hdmi port and at the back you have nothing but the exhaust vent now like i said the predator here is sorry the predator 13500 sa is a premium brand from asa so it also got 
a metal top which makes it feel that premium so and then it has a a nice it has a nice trackpad which is not big and also not small with a fingerprint on it so it's beautiful the fingerprint work very very fast and fine so you can say it is very sharp now for the keyboard the keyboard is the rgb keyboard it's zone rgb it's not a key rgb and there is no uh, number keys although it has a dedicated key for play pause volume up and then the predator sense so talking about the predator sense if you have used a predator recently so or even the nitro so it has this configuration where you choose how to set your laptop the fans and everything the lightning and then you can customize it lightning and then it also has different modes so but unfortunately you cannot change the mode when it is not plugged to power adapter now about the performance of this laptop the core i9 12900h 14 core does not need any introduction it's a very powerful processor so in fact it is the second best mobile processor aside the hx series so it is a very capable processor now where there was a little downside on the laptop is on the graphics part so the graphic part the rts 3080 the maximum power that asa gives to the graphic card is 115 so which is a bit low for the laptop but then it's very good to play game although like i tested it with the forza horizon 5 and then the output is not that bad so if you look at it you see so so uh, forza recommended extreme settings and then on 1080p display so and we are getting around 59 frames per second like you know forza don't always extend so forza don't always extend the screen refresh rate to match the fps of the laptop so it always put it at 60 sometimes so but during the gameplay myself when i increase uh, when i adjusted the screen refresh rate to match the frame rate so i was getting up to 90 something frame per second so which is very very good or the laptop so but that is for those who are buying the laptop for game now the reason why is that reduce it with or no is because of the tiny or the thin form factor of the laptop so if you want something very more powerful you can go to the uh, the harris 500 so that one come with a full graphic power about 165 watt for the gpu although there is no refresh model for 2022 so you can only get that on the 2021 with rts 3080 and not the 3080ti at least for at the time of recording this video so that is that about that then on the inside that is upgrading the laptop now the motherboard of the laptop is flipped upside down so and because it is flipped upside down i don't want to disassemble the whole laptop in order to confirm if the ram or the ssd is user upgradable so i will just assume that they are upgradable because you can't build a laptop this powerful and do and will not want user to upgrade it but so but for the wi-fi card it is so that on board and it does not have slot for 2.5 sata hd or ssd so let me repeat what i said the motherboard is flipped upside down so as it is flipped upside down you can only assess all those things by disassembling the whole laptop which i did not want to do for personal reasons just to confirm if the ram and the ssd are user replaceable but for the wi-fi card which is at the top so it is not user replaceable so that is what you should know so 
overall it's a very beautiful laptop and also a very powerful laptop premiumly built and nice fat there are no bots in my opinion so if you have this money and if you compare this laptop with the likes of asa sorry asus msi and i think they are the cheapest it cost about for this configuration uh, this configuration it cost about three thousand dollars on the asa us website so that's it guys thank you for watching my video and please do subscribe to my channel for more video bye